There's one. I set the hook on him. That's a nice one. Let's try it again. Oh, there he is right off the bat. What do I got here? It's time for an outdoorsman brunch. I've got steak and eggs. Driving down this road, this old dirt road, down all these little trails, you can see there's all kinds of little rivers and creeks running through here. I'm gonna see what I can get into here in a minute. It is salt water, it might even be brackish also on this side. I'm gonna be taking some casts around these pipes and looking for any water flow or anything like that. That's usually the best spots. I'm gonna go over to this one pipe. Sometimes it has water flow, sometimes it doesn't. Usually it's pretty good, it has some fish. It looks like the water is pretty low right now. When there is flow coming out of these pipes through these impoundments that's when it's the best fishing the fish should be biting i'm hoping the water looks relatively clear and we should be getting into some fish here in a minute it's always a surprise on what i catch here it's really never the same it all depends on what fish are coming through I'm Ricky Myers and today we're going on another shore fishing adventure down these back roads. I'm fishing all these little pipes here looking for water flow. Let's see what we can get into right now. I made it to my first fishing spot, the pipe over here. I got my cane pole with me. I'm gonna try that first. I actually consider cane pole fishing to be a form of martial arts because there's a lot of technique involved. So this is my 10 foot cane pole right now. I have my 13 foot one in the car, but I think this will do just right for what I'm trying to do here. So this is the right size. I'm gonna be using some live shrimp here and I'm gonna see what I can get into in a minute. Shrimp is pretty big. I got a small hook. I've got the bar pinched down and I'm just going to get into it right off the bat. Let's see what we can get into right here. I also got my spinning rod with me too. I think I got to change the hook on that. Got some good water flow here right now at the moment. A little bit of some water coming through here, so that should help. Obviously, whenever you get the water flow, that's the best because the fish just love that. Coming from over on this side. Got some flow coming here. Look at that. Water's pretty dark. The shrimp isn't even sinking, it's swimming. All I have is braid attached to this, and the shrimp is actually swimming freely. He's going to the right, so I'll just let him swim under that. It's 40, 40 or 50 pound braid I think I have, but it's enough for that shrimp to just swim on its own. It's absolutely perfect. I can see him swimming about a foot down, so the hook or the line isn't even taking him down. And then the line is strong enough that it should hold up unless something snaps this pole in half. Tons of minnows down here. But imagine those fish are just feeding on these minnows like, oh, that might be a bite. There's one. I set the hook on him. That's a nice one. Look at the size of this one. Holy crap. Look at the size of this one. Look at that one. Look at those colors. Let me get him. I set the hook on this one. This is a beauty. Look at that teal color. Where's the hook? Kind of got wrapped around the line. And then there goes the hook. Okay, beauty right here. Look at this 
one. Wow, look at that. Okay, I'm gonna throw him back. If I had a nice pond, this would be perfect. There he goes, just like that. Set the hook nicely on that one. It's full of those Mayan cichlids. It's a whole school of them. They're really a tough fish. They remind me of a tilapia. Oh, I thought that was another bite. They remind me of a tilapia. They look exactly the same. The coloration is just different. It's got that nice teal and almost like that reddish tint to them. Just an absolutely beautiful fish. Cane pole came through again really great for stuff like this might be in my plans to maybe get a really big aquarium or a nice backyard pond soon because I want to start bringing some of these cool fish home and kind of create my own ecosystem and environment a nice shot right there Let's see if we can pull another one out of here Lucky I have these gloves on and provided for a nice grip because I tell you that fish is one of the stronger fish I've held in my hands. It's kind of close to the bowfin. Those bowfin are really crazy too, but this is a really tough fish. These fish that can live in brackish water like this tilapia, these Mayan cichlids, I mean they're really tough. I'm gonna compete with all kinds of other fish like snook redfish, but I tell you they are tough fish. Interesting, whatever that is, it felt decent. Let's try it again. He ran right for this pipe. Oh, there he is, right off the bat. What do I got here? Right off the bat. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Oh, it's one of those Mayan chocolate things. Holy shit, that's what it is. Circle hook got him. Get the colors on this guy right here. Look at the teeth and everything. That's a nice one. Throw him back. There he goes, just like that. Wow, what an awesome catch. Okay, let's try it again. The other ones seem to be a little bit bigger. Oh, got one. Look at this one. Beauty. This one's even a little bit bigger. Let me put him in the grass to calm him down. Okay. Okay. Look at the spikes on this guy. Look at the colors on him. Beauty right there, look at that tail. I'm gonna throw him back. Look at this, how nice this one is. Let's throw him back. There he goes. Just like that. All right, it's around 11 a.m. It's time for an outdoorsman brunch. I've got steak and eggs and some vegetables. First egg going. There you go. Okay, let's get some pepper on these eggs. with the steak. Look at that. Steak and eggs. Outdoorsman brunch. Look at that. Just gonna dump some of the vegetables on. We'll cook them right there too. Look at that. Cooking up just perfect. 
steak is starting to look pretty good. Really nice ribeye. Better than any restaurant. Can't even compare. Out in the wild, nice treat today. These are turning out to be really nice. Look at that. I'm actually going to turn that off. Some of the vegetables on here. And then you've got the outdoorsman mouth-watering brunch. Cooking on the mini grill. Throw one of these on there. Look at that. Outdoorsman brunch. Okay, that's going to do it for today. Went on this awesome little cane pole fishing adventure down these roads in these drainage pipes. I also used my regular rod. I'll be going on more of these adventures. So if you'd like to hike, bike, camp, cook, and fish, I'll see you on the next great adventure.